Hey, it's Tim and in today's video, I want to answer a question I get a lot, which is how do you get an on-screen digital piano to show what you're playing while you're demonstrating something, recording an online course or teaching an online lesson? So something like this, how do you get that on screen? How do you connect it to your digital piano and what software do I use? That's what this video is all about. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a digital or hybrid piano of some sort. So I'm gonna demonstrate this on the Kawai Aures over here. I've got a Roland FP series over here. As long as it has a MIDI out that uses some kind of USB cable, you're in business. So the second thing you need is some kind of USB cable to connect the digital piano to your computer. And it could be Windows or Mac. Uh, but I tend to not use tablets when I'm recording things like this. So some kind of USB cable. In the case of this one, I need one which has standard USB to the kind of fat boxy USB. <laughs> I don't even know what this one's called. Um, but that's the kind of cable I need. Other keyboards may need different cables. So just have a look what the output is and then grab whatever you need to get that information into the laptop. The third thing you need is a laptop or a computer of some sort to take, uh, receive that information from your digital piano. And finally, you need some software which will turn that MIDI information into the on-screen keyboard. And I'm gonna show you that once we uh, get things plugged in. So let's show you where to plug things in first. Okay, so here I am with my Kawai, and I'm gonna be connecting the USB cable to it. Uh, the connection's actually under the front left here. On some digital pianos, it might be around the back, underneath, who knows where it is. But all you need to find is that MIDI out or output of some sort. So let, let me show you the connection down, down here. Okay, so you can see all the connections uh, really helpfully placed in a nice, easy to reach spot for Kawai. A lot of pianos you've got to go digging around underneath and behind them. Uh, this is super easy for us. And what, the one that we want to look for is um, USB to host, which is this one here. It tends to have, as I showed you at the start, this kind of boxy USB connection. So all you do is plug that in there, and then the other end is going to be going into your computer. And that's it. Okay, so I've now got my laptop ready. Uh, the other end of the cable, I'm just gonna plug it straight into the laptop. I've got an adapter on this, but that's only because the new MacBooks only have USB-C and the cable from the Kawai is an older USB. So let's plug that in now. And you can see now on screen the software that I use. I use a software called Classroom Maestro. It's by Time Walk Technologies, and it's a great bit of software um, that I've just found 100% reliable and stable, and there are so many different options. Let me show you the options when it comes to displaying what you actually want. Uh, it can do scales, it can do notes, it can um, show analysis of what you're actually playing. Uh, absolutely phenomenal software, I highly recommend it um, if you're looking to do online courses or teaching using this software. Um, so you can see we're in uh, chord mode at the moment. If I play a chord, it actually analyzes what I'm playing. If you put it into scale mode, uh, I think I might have to push the uh, sustain pedal to get the notes to hold. There we go. And then it will actually tell you what the scale is. So it's an incredible bit of software. And how easy was that? I literally just plugged it in and we were ready to go. Now, that's not always gonna be the case. And I found that when I've downloaded free software off the internet, that I often then waste hours trying to get the instrument to talk to the computer. So that's why I just think uh, paying a little bit of money for software like Classroom Maestro is the way to go. Now, if you want to actually get the on-screen view of this, as well as you playing the instrument, then that is, uh, all comes down to editing. So you could screen record yourself uh, a little bit like I'm doing now. I've got my face on the uh, screen in the bottom corner. You could put a full shot of you playing the, playing the keyboard either overhead or from the side and then overlay this above it and then screen record the whole thing. Uh, but I think it's actually easier to just record these in separate devices. So I'm recording this actually on an iPad today, uh, the one you're watching from here. When you were looking at the connections down here, this was my iPhone. Uh, and on the screen, I can have the uh, on-screen keyboard. So then it's just a matter of combining those three feeds in your editor, putting them on the page where you want them, and there's your output. So I hope this has been a helpful look at how to get an on-screen keyboard for a tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, then make sure you leave a comment or a question below. See you soon. Hey guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then please make sure you click to subscribe. And if you're a music teacher looking for help with any aspect of your teaching studio or business, then make sure you check out topmusicpro.com for all our membership details.